Hey guys, so I've been using the Filofax Napper for a few weeks now and I just thought I would do a updated look at my setup video. My cat's playing with the blinds so if you can hear any background noise it's probably him trying to be a nuisance. So when we open it up you can see it pretty much lies flat on its own. I haven't trained it, I haven't forced it to do this, it's done this naturally which is great because I've spent many a time putting heavy books on Filofaxes to get them to lie flat. So in the car pockets here we've just got some kind of transparent sticky notes, um, some heart shaped sticky notes. Uh, this is just the business card from when me and my boyfriend had our first date and then we've just got some magnetic page markers and an off cut of acetate with some washi on in case I want to plan on the go. The dashboard here, this is from Mrs Brummel's and I will link her shop down below. And on the back of here we've just got some post-it notes, um, which are the knock-knock ones with to buy and to remember. Then my dividers, these are just simply the Filofax A to C dividers which I've covered with washi and written on um, to change them from A to C to my sections obviously. Um, so on the back of my first divider we've just got some post-it notes. And then in the section itself I've got a few sheets of the Filofax blank note paper but I don't tend to write on the note paper itself. I tend to just stick sticky notes on it and then move them to wherever they need to be. Uh, so the next section here we've got is monthly and I haven't really used this section much. I watched a video by Rachel Dunaway and really liked the way she had a monthly setup done so I immediately did it for September and then I haven't touched it. <laughs> so. I've put enough square paper in to do it for the rest of the year, but we'll see if I actually get around to filling it in. Then next up we've got weekly. I started off using the Filofax week on two pages uh, inserts that came with the organiser and just couldn't cope. The paper quality was far too thin and even when I was just writing on in biro it was showing through and yeah, couldn't cope. So I've now switched to using the Just So Stationery inserts, um, much better paper quality and they're also aligned which is great because I find it really hard to write straight and it upsets me when my writing is wonky so these work great. I'll link her shop down below, they're really reasonably priced and she's just brought out her 2016 range. So instead of the traditional Filofax marker I've got this here which is just a Project Life divider cut down and I just stick sticky notes on this like this one here is my meal plan for the week. Um, yeah, I'm filming this video slightly ahead of time, so obviously this kind of gives it away which week I was filming it. Um, this is the week before I start university properly. I mean, I've got like two induction days, but nothing kind of major. So there's a lot of kind of finishing off and things to do. And then for the next week, I've just written in my timetable and I haven't actually followed through and put in the colour coding system that I have yet. Um, and I haven't really put much else in my plan up there. Other than things like Downton Abbey and my birthday. I've washied kind of a few weeks in ahead, but, well a few months really, but I haven't really kind of written in that much detail. Um, in my pages I tend to do more of my forward planning in my Erin Condren video than in my Falifax. Uh, so the next tab here we have, this is the daily section. Um, like I said I'm filming this video ahead of time so these aren't actually filled in at the moment but um, these are the DIY fish day on two pages inserts and I will probably use these a lot more um, when I actually start back at university and I have kind of bigger daily to-do lists that I just want to break down um, and if I want to like break down my day into time blocks then I can use the time down here to do that which is great. Next up we have my PGC tab and here we just have a quote which is the secret to getting ahead is getting started and I really like that. I haven't actually started yet so this has just got some yellow note paper. I'm going to kind of try and keep the colour of paper specific to the sections but we'll see if that works. And then we've got some of these that I made for my undergrad degree which is just like the short list and the long list and these are just for breaking down to-do lists into things that need to be done at some point and then things that need to be done kind of immediately. And then next up we have my to-do section which is just kind of specific. So here we just have kind of a rolling to-do list, like this one here spans a couple of pages 
and I have written what I wanted to get done in a week before my PGC. I've worked out a total number of things and then I've worked out how many things a day I should need to do and then the goal for the day and what I actually did. And we'll see whether I actually managed to finish up or not before I start my PGC. Um, so I've just got some more of these inserts here, which these are from Paper Chase. So that's that. And then the next section is spending and I've taken out my sheet because it had a lot of personal details in. But here I just literally track everything that I buy, everything that I order. And I find this is a really useful way of me keeping on track of where my money is actually going. And then we have this kind of side opening envelope, which I think is from Jillio. I got it in a rack. Um, and usually I just put the money for my driving lesson that week in here so that I know I've got the cash for it. I haven't actually taken that out of the bank yet, so that goes in there. Next up we've got the home tab, and I just have the takeaways tab, which we've just moved in, so I haven't filled that in yet. Then I've got kind of a big cleaning list, which was left over from the summer. A list of the current freezer meals that we have, and just some more green note paper. The next section we have is meals. Um, so that list should probably be in here, never mind. And I've just got pink. I haven't got anything in here because I just meal planned on this sticky note here for this week. Because um, I wanted to sit in the car on the way to the supermarket. So the next section up we've got is lists. And I have birthdays. I haven't filled this in yet because I knew I was filming this video today. And I didn't want to put people's birthdays all over the internet. Some people are weird about that. And then I just got some of these dilemma sheets by Filofax. And then just some lilac note paper. And then we've got my social media section. So here I've written out the papered Heart of Gold Instagram challenge, which I'm going to try and complete. Um, I will link that down below as well as my own Instagram if you want to follow along. And then I've just got some videos to film and kind of video idea lists in there. And then we've got my contacts, which obvious, for obvious reasons I won't show you because these were already filled in because I moved them from North Wilderfax. So I will just skip past this section. but. I'm using the Cotton Cream Filofax uh, address inserts. And then next up, the last section we have is MISC. So in here I just have a top opening pouch which just has a few of kind of my regularly used uh, Etsy stickers. Most of these are from the Plump Planner and I'll try and link a shop down below for you. Um, and then I just have a side opening envelope with some sticky notes in my bra measurement size from Bravissimo from when I got measured and it was completely different to what I thought so I've got it in there just to remind me and then this is just a a blank note card that I have in there it just says hello on it I think it's from the Target doll spot um so I've just got that in the back in case I ready to write a quick note and then the pen that I am using is the will focus the Uniball Jetstream and I find that really really helps it writes really smoothly I've got a bit of carpal tunnel on my wrist so if a pen's scratchy or sticks then I really struggle with it but this works great and then in the zip pocket on the back here I just have some kind of larger post-it notes that wouldn't fit in the side pouch without making it too bulky so yeah, that is my entire setup for now. Um, I have a feeling there will be a few things to change. I think I've got too many tabs, so I will probably streamline them in the near future. I can't see me changing my inserts for the week on two pages. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit thumbs up and um, subscribe. And if you've got any questions about anything that I run through, um, I know I did it quite quickly to try and keep this video short. Um, then just ask those in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.